Yeah, definitely. Um, but we just need a spark. We need something just to give us a spark to get us going. We, we spoke about it today. I thought we had prepared really well over the last two days coming into this game. Um, and then it didn't go according to plan tonight. But we still got four games. And um, we've got a game in hand on the rest of the field. So, so we're, still, we, we're still sitting fine. But um, just really disappointed with our performance tonight. Vicky, fielding first, is it a wise move when you consider that the child can get easily get 180-190 batting up front? Yeah, it, exactly. I mean, we discussed it. The only reason we, we, we fielded first was because of the Duke. Um, so we thought, you know, if we, could, if we could get amongst it, we thought the wicket would quicken up a little bit with the, with the Jew on it. Um, it was a very, very good, good wicket. Um, and, uh, you know, then once they got one into you, you're always batting under scoreboard pressure. You lose early wickets, you can't get momentum, and you're on a hiding to nothing. So that's kind of what happened. And that's why you are appearing to open the innings after the... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, D didn't work out that. So you want to need for that final push, you know, especially... Well, well what we need is we, we just need some standout performances. We, we, we just need somebody getting in and really taking, taking the game. You know, you, you've got to find something that changes momentum. I look at Islamabad under Russell hitting the six and the super over. Sort of changed momentum for them. We had all that momentum and then we had the rain break. We didn't play for a couple of days, lost, didn't play for another three days, although we've trained really well. You don't simulate that, um, you know, when you, get out, when you get out into the middle. So we, we, we just need to find that win again, and we get that win, we get the momentum, and, and, and off we go again. Vicky, would it have been tough leading up to Ramazul, scored 41 balls, 51 in the last one? Yeah, it, 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 he played well. Um, I thought he needed to rotate strike a little bit more. We thought he was a little bit too slow. Um, and, and, and we told him that, you know. But then again, it was a catch-22 situation. You get a Freedy coming back. Rizwan's got to keep wicket. Baba Azam's going to play. Um, and so is Amir Chinwari. So the only guy you can leave out is, is, um, is uh, Kuru. Tough on someone who's done well domestically? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is, yeah, and, and uh, you know, uh, we put a lot of credence into what happens at domestic level, but I think you can see the step up. When you play against international class opposition, there's a definite step up, you know, and um, a, 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 you, you, can, you can see the guy's potential or not. You know, Kurum's got a lot of potential. We're working on, on certain aspects of his game that we think could make him into, into an international cricketer. But he, he's, he's got a little bit of a way to go there, but um, yeah, we're working hard with him. and. I've been really happy with what he's with what he's given us so far. He's he's worked extremely hard. He's got himself nice and fit, and he's he's taking it on board. Vicky, news coming from Lahore that West Indies is almost confirmed T20 internationals. Yes. So uh, Pakistan team is ready to face another big ten. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. we've got some. I'm digressing a little bit. Okay, so we've got some big challenges now coming up. Uh, straight after this, we go into those 2020s um, with the West Indies. We go straight into a all camp. I've got a very clear picture in my mind: the the, the 2020 side, the the World Cup side, the test team that's going to go to England. So we'll go into camps. We'll do fitness testing. We'll do all the medical screenings again straight after the West Indies series, and then the test team is in the hall for for a camp for a test squad that we'll cut down to 15 after four days of the camp. Mickey, other than other than Imad Lower Downhill, did you feel the that's good. A good question again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Probably. Yeah. We, we, and that's kind of why I, li I liked. We sort of played Visit to Mats because he he sort of gives that. We got somebody there who can hit the ball out the ground. Um, I think we saw though. Yeah. When you get two. I mean, Watson and, and Peterson are, are top 10, 20, 20 players in world cricket. When they get in on a wicket like that, it, it looks a total different game. Even against our attack, I thought Shinwari and Amir bowled, bowled particularly well tonight. I thought both of them were excellent, went for under 25, I think. Um, but the other guys suffered because they're bowling to, to proper, proper batsmen. And when they get set and get in on wickets like that, certainly make it count. And um, that's the lesson that I'm, that I'm giving to our players tonight. I'm just, and just letting them know that that's what they, what is, what's expected. In, in the first press conference, uh, Ron, she said that it was a batting wicket. So in the second innings of this match, did you feel the wicket was too good? Yeah, it was very good. No, the wicket was very good. Again, 
if, if this is a day game, we're batting first on that every day of the week. The only reason we didn't, as I answered to the gentleman earlier, was the fact that we thought because of the due factor. And I think everybody's bowled second because of that. Um, and also, when, once a wicket gets a little bit of, of moisture on, it tends to just skid on and almost becomes better to bat on. So, so that's the only reason we went away from our formula of batting first. Um, but then you're playing against 180, you're playing against scoreboard pressure, you lose early wickets, you're on a hard into nothing. Vicky, at the opening of this event, uh, I mean, PSL, Nathan City had his uh, or state, uh, a Mazdin can be the lead of Pakistan in future. As Pakistan head coach, what do you think? Can he? Um, in future, he probably can. All I know is that Safi is entrenched in all forms, and as long as I'm ca ca uh, coaching in Pakistan, I'm going to have Safi as armored with me. Thank you. Like every year, PSL has produced some new talent for Pakistan. Do you think some of the players who have been performing here are ready to represent Pakistan in upcoming series for West Indies? I, I know exactly that squad. I know exactly the 20 that are going to be cut to 15 for our World Cup. And I know the squad of 21 that's going to be cut to 15 that's going to go to England. Um, whether there's one or two out of the PSL, I'm not sure. Okay.